Hi friends, it's me, Cookie. And today, I wanted to do a fun craft with you. Do you like the ocean? Me too. And do you like pistachios? Me too. So we're gonna do a fun craft with both of them. So let's go. This is just normal computer paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut, not really a circle, but more of an oval so we can begin. All right, now that that's all cut out, we can start painting. Now we're going to make our ocean scene. So starting from dark, we can add a little bit of the lightness to this one because you don't want it extremely dark. So we're gonna be mixing a little bit. And I found it's easiest to go from left to right when painting. Okay. We're just going up. Try to get all that paint off your brush because soon we're just going to be blending. I love blending colors. It actually always comes out really, really pretty when you blend. But what we're trying to make is an ocean scene. And of course, the darker, or I'm sorry, the deeper <laughs> you go into the ocean, the darker it usually gets. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. And I'm sure you can already see how it's starting from dark and it's going to get lighter. Now we're going to swap it up. I'm going to wipe off my brush really quickly <clears throat> to try to get all the darkness out of it. Then we're going to use the other blue. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. Be careful because like I said this is just computer paper that's why I have a paper towel underneath it helping me so it doesn't seep through and we are going to need a little bit of time between this project to let it dry so while it dries go get a snack go relax a little just take a little break but the top of this we want to kind of leave where it's kind of really light and we can use white paint or you can just keep the paper not painted and it will still have the same effect. So let's give this a few minutes for it to dry and we'll come right back. I'll see you in a few minutes. Now I realized that I missed a little bit of the sides. You can go in and fill them in, add a little shading because you kind of want the theme to stay like where it's getting from dark and then try to get rid of some of that darkness there we go oh, this looks really neat and we can kind of blend a smidge more there we go it doesn't have to be perfect nothing in life really ever is so here we go this is let me hold it up a little this is our product right now and soon enough we're going to be adding some amazing decorations that you guys are going to love so let's let it continue to dry and we'll be right back now it's time for our pistachios we're still going to need to use more later so hopefully you have a really good amount i have a backup bag full of them and right now we're going to get some glue and we're going to glue the dark area. You don't have to glue the entire area at once, but it will be all glued. We'll start with this, put that down. Now, what you're doing is you're going to be placing the pistachios onto the glue you can do any shape, 
any design you want. The goal is just to get the pistachios onto the paper. And I promise you, it doesn't look like much right now, but it will. You'll be like, oh, wow. I know. So, like I said, any design you want, I'm going to try to match it up as much as I can. But this is the gist of it, is just placing them down. It's going to be a lot of work, but everything that is hard work will pay off. And I promise you, you're going to absolutely love this. Now let's get some more glue and let's continue on. This is how it should start looking. These all need eh, probably about 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes to really dry. So let's give them some time and then we will come back and we will paint them. Now, this has had plenty of time to dry. So let's see you can't pick it up without them falling you can't feel them without them falling off you need to give them a little bit more time but these are completely ready to be painted so I've got a darker blue that we're going to use and you're gonna just paint them nicely well as nice as you can uh, and Honestly, if you want to use different colors, like you can probably, let's see, doing the blue. So I'll start with that. And then if you want, after they're all done, you can add a little bit of darker shading. I'll show you. As you can see, we've painted them all dark blue. Now, I'm going to add a little bit <clears throat> of black. And I know you can't really see the difference on the camera, but adding a few different variations of color can really make your painting pop because as we know, all um, rocks under the ocean are not just one color. They're definitely different colors. And if you want, you can add a light variation. Let me show you. Now, because I don't want them too light, I've mixed like a light blue with my darker blue. And then you're just going to add a little bit of lightness to them. There we go. Now, I hope you can kind of see the difference. And that really is going to make a difference in your painting and make it pop more. We're going to switch our brushes so I have a thinner brush and using greens, any kind of green, does not matter. It's however you feel it looks best. And we're going to make little seaweed. Now this is definitely you just being creative of how you picture underwater seaweed. Now I'm going to add a little darker green to my lighter green. I think that makes it very pretty. Now let me wipe my brush and go back to a lighter green. And then I'm gonna do a little one over here. And then, like I said, this is all your interpretation of seaweed in the ocean. You can look any way. You cannot do this wrong. It's however you view it. And honestly, I always picture seaweed kind of, I don't know, blowing in the wind, if that makes any sense. Because <laughs> it is. It's going with the tides of the, you know, water. And, you know, it could be blowing up. It could be blowing down. Let me make this one a little taller. And then, like I said, all I'm going to do is add a little bit of dark green. You don't have to. You can keep it however you want. I just like mixing colors. I do it quite often in a lot of different projects. And it's yours. Own it. 
make it however you want. Like I said, there's really no wrong way to make it. It's however you think the ocean looks. And there we go. We got some seaweed. Now, we're going to wait for the, the blue to dry and for the green. And then once that's done, we're going to move on to some more fun. Now that the blue and the seaweed are all dry, we need to use some more glue and put some more pistachios on. So, the glue, and these you can put anywhere you want because eventually they're going to be little fishies. It's going to be so awesome. So, I will put one right here like he's swimming through the seaweed. Can't pick him up. And then put maybe one here and make sure you use enough glue don't you know use too little you need you know a good amount for them to stick Dun -dun -dun -dun. we're just gonna face them try to remember that the little smaller thin side not the big side but let me pick one up so this side, which is smaller than this side, this is going to be their faces. So whichever way you're pointing them, put one right here, we'll have him swimming down. These are all swimming towards the middle. Let's see, we'll have this guy, he'll swim right in the middle. He's going up, like he's going to say hello to his friends. And we'll put one here here and then we'll have one more here that one could use a little bit more glue and we're going to after we have them all glued on we're going to once again let them dry and once the glue has dried and they are all stuck on there we're going to paint some more now these have dried and they are stuck to the paper. Now it's time to paint. I actually didn't have any orange, so I had to make some. I used red and yellow to make orange. So now let's just pick one. And this you really want to try to make sure you stay on the pistachio. You don't want to try to get it on the paper and then you're going to make little fins this guy's swimming up so you can make his fins kind of aim up and then you can do his back fin like that doesn't have to be perfect it's all in how you want them to look all right and i'll pick one more how about him over here? Like I said, try your hardest to stay on the pistachio. But now because he's kind of swimming down, we'll angle his fins this way. His are going up, his are going down. And then his little back fin. These are looking really, really cute. We have to wait for them all to dry, and then we're going to add really, really special details to all of them. So let's continue painting. Now we're going to make some yellow. And remember, the smaller end of the pistachio is going to be where his head is. So this is his back. And then since he's kind of swimming, you can turn it like this to make it easier for you to paint. And you're going to paint his fins because he's swimming, well, from right to left. Let's find one more. How about this guy? Make sure we paint him all nice and yellow. And like I said, we're trying to make sure that we stay in the line little fin because he's swimming up towards the surface. So we're going to angle his fins like this. 
Like I said, if you have to turn the paper around to different angles to get your perfect angle, not a problem. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's however you want it to be. All right, and we have a dark blue. Ooh, this one's like the night, dark night sky. <gasps> I like that one too. We're going to make his, and he's swimming to the surface, probably to get a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> now we have one left. What color do you think we should make it? I think we should make it red. We'll call it the cookie fish. <laughs> All right, we got our red to decorate our cookie fish. That's what we'll call them. <laughs> I really do love the color red. I know, I say it all the time, but I really do. It truly is one of my favorite colors. Oh, so pretty. Now, we're gonna wait for these all to dry and we're gonna add little small details to really make them pop. For the final touches, we're going to give, I'm using a permanent marker and we're going to give, let's start with this fish. We can make it a clownfish. Give him his eyes and a mouth. Then I have white, pink, black, green, and yellow paint. Using white, we'll give him some stripes. Now I'm using a thinner brush. And like I said, doesn't have to be perfect, but when you're doing it, it is perfect because you did it. Look at that silly clownfish. See, our clownfish. And we can also make this one a clownfish. Give him an eye and a smile. Well, <laughs> let's make him smile. There we go. And using the white paint, we can give him some stripes. Look at how pretty he is, or she. There we go. Now these ones are officially decorated. <laughs> Let's move on to the other ones. Moving on, we'll give everybody a little smile. And this one, let's see, get this one. And then this one. <laughs> This one's a little too dark for our permanent marker. So we can, let's give him some nice green eyes. Oh, that's perfect. I think of him more as a sea turtle. So let's give him a shell-like design. See how we're doing little ripples? but I like him more as a sea turtle. Let's see, we can give, we gave that one polka dots. So let's make this one kind of look maybe like a bumblebee with some black stripes. Like I said, you can get creative however you want. This is your design and whatever you like is gonna be the right idea. You can even put a little bit of texturing and color on their fins. So let's give it a few polka dots. Poke, 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 poke. These are really coming out great. Now, hmm, do a little bit of white on this one. Wow, these are really coming to life. I think we did a fantastic job. 
look at the finished product. I think we did a great job. These came out so amazing. You did an amazing job, as always. Well, friends, we had a great time today. These officially came out fantastic. You guys did an amazing job, and they were so much fun to make with you. Well, friends, I hope you guys keep coming back for more and more fun with me, your friend Cookie. That's K-O-O-K-I-E, and that would be me. And don't forget, if you like videos like this, keep liking them and subscribing for more and more fun.